Christchurch Cathedral. It's been here 175 years, a little more than that. I've been the Dean and Rector for nine years, and I'd heard about its work it's done many times. I was excited by the congregation's commitment to reach out into the community and also the diversity that was already present. Having been raised also in, in the spirit of being in a community and responding to the needs, that was something that I felt I could do. That's how I know how to do church. We're still on the circle, partially because our great benefactor, Eli Lilly, wanted his church to stay on the circle. At one time, a local bank president called and said, it's a lovely little church, but all the other churches have moved north and we'd like you to uh, consider doing so. We'd like to buy your, buy your church. The next day, Eli Lilly called the bank president and said, it's a lovely little bank you have, and I've just bought it. My church isn't going anywhere. Christ Church, the little church on the circle. When I came, I was surprised that, you know, that this one lone little church, and I actually thought that the building was gonna be bigger, but we do make the most of our space, and you know, I love the idea of us being right in the city, and we can't go anywhere, and that's a good thing, because there's plenty for us to do. We thought about the way Christchurch has re reached out in its past to help us be more compassionate and more inclusive as a community. And after a lot of prayer, reflection, and discernment, we came upon the phrase, widening the circle of God's embrace with heart and voice. And we're right here at the center of our city saying, yeah, we're all neighbors together. And we can come together without fear and do wonderful things together. To decide that we are going to be more diverse and to decide that we are going to have more relationships with our community. It's not about getting more people in a church, but it's about being more in tune with following Jesus. I mean, just that simple. Just recently in our history, we were in the state house helping our state leaders include a wider range of folks who are Hoosiers, especially those LGBT folks to have full rights. Right now, we are reaching out to welcome new immigrants, particularly Latinos. I'm always excited by the, the ways that we're able to learn about each other, just learn about being Christians together, followers of Jesus. We were looking for several churches, and uh, we happened to run into this one just driving by. When we walked in, we felt like we were, we were home. You know, you get the welcome, and they, they smile at you. I could be doing this for the rest of my life. The challenge of staying in the city has also given us a challenge to be active in the community and to make a difference in the community. We've been having this conversation about widening the circle of God's embrace and so I've encouraged people to come up with ideas for ways that we could be in the community. You know, once one idea comes off, then people come up with others. We've been given a lot and it's, we're required to share it and we're required to be a presence in the city and in fact in the state and the country. That's the breadth and the reach of Christ Church. People find a place here, and that's one of the gifts that we bring as we widen the circle of God's embrace.